Good morning, Pastor Brian here. Thanks for joining me today as we read a psalm a day in this daily Bible study series that we are doing. Today will be Psalm 73. I'll be reading from the Common English Bible Translation. Feel free to follow along in the way that is most helpful and meaningful for you. And uh, let's dive into Psalm 73 together. And as we do, I just want to note that we are now on Book 3 of the Book of Psalms, so the third section of Psalms. Truly, God is good to Israel, to those who have a pure heart. But me? My feet had almost stumbled, my steps had nearly slipped. Because I envied the arrogant, I observed how the wicked are well off. They suffer no pain, their bodies are fit and strong, they are never in trouble, they aren't weighed down like other people. That's why they wear arrogance like a necklace, why violence covers them like clothes. Their eyes bulge out from eating so well, their hearts overflow with delusions. They scoff and talk so cruel from their privileged positions. They plan oppression. Their mouths dare to speak against heaven. Their tongues roam the earth. That's why people going, keep going back to them, keep approving what they say. And what they say is this. How could God possibly know? Does the Most High know anything at all? Look at these wicked ones, always relaxed, piling up their wealth. Meanwhile, I've kept my heart pure for no good reason. I've washed my hands to stay innocent for nothing. I'm weighed down all day long. I'm punished every morning. If I said, I will talk about all this, I would have been unfaithful to your children. But when I tried to understand these things, it just seemed like hard work until I entered God's sanctuary and understood what would happen to the wicked. You will definitely put them on a slippery path. You will make them fall into ruin. How quickly they are devastated, utterly destroyed by terrors, as quickly as a dream departs from someone waking up, my Lord. When you are stirred up, you make them disappear. When my heart was bitter, when I was all cut up inside, I was stupid and ignorant. I acted like nothing but an animal toward you, but I was still always with you. You held my strong hand. You have guided me with your advice. Later you will receive me with glory. Do I have anyone else in heaven? There's nothing on earth I desire except you. My body and my heart fail, but God is my heart's rock and my share forever. Look, those far from you die. You annihilate all those who are unfaithful to you. But me? It's good for me to be near God. I have taken my refuge in you, my Lord God, so I can talk all about your works. That is the end of Psalm 73, and what an interesting psalm. You know, the whole, I mean, almost literally the whole first half of this psalm talks about how good it seems that the wicked are and they're, they're prospering and they're happy days and they're full bellies and all of this and getting away with their evil schemes. And then there is that turning point that I just think is so beautiful. And it's just a wonderful way to understand how sometimes, you know, we do get jealous and we do maybe sometimes look longingly at those who are just doing whatever they want and seeming to be happy and, and completely, uh, you know, getting away with being wicked with nothing that seems to get in their way. But, you know, the psalm then talks about... Uh, you know, entering into God's sanctuary. And that is, I think, that, that turning point that is just so beautiful. And it's just, you know, until, it, there it is, verse 17. Until I entered God's sanctuary and understood what would happen to the wicked. You know, it was that moment of entering God's 
God's presence, of, of remembering God and, and re-engaging uh, with God that helped the psalmist realize that, you know, it's not really about, you know, having these temporary happy things, but it's about entering God's sanctuary, about seeing all that God has done for us and recognizing God's love and goodness and all that that God wants uh, and gives in this life and especially in the life to come. So as seemingly nice as the, these these wicked ways and wicked things are and, and how happy they may be, it's only temporary. But our relationship with God and the things that God offers us in this life, and as I said, and more importantly than in the life to come, that is where our true treasure lies. So what did you hear? What did you like? What didn't you like? What stuck out to you? Write it down. It's always good to write things down. It helps you remember, uh, you know, that thing that you found really important. Share it with a friend. Share it with us. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And God bless.